You're watching SoundersFC.com with Ross Fletcher and Casey Keller wrapping up what was a heartbreaking draw in the end for Seattle Sounders FC. 2-2 at New England Revolution, having taken a 2-1 lead, conceding a 94th minute equaliser, the last kick of the match. Controversy on both of the New England goals. And Casey Keller, did the Sounders deserve to come away with all three points, bearing in mind what happened here? You would think so. I mean, you start the game, you're already clawing yourself from behind on a goal that never should have been. Sen clearly offside on the first goal, should have been disallowed. Sounders players irate, they can't believe that the call wasn't made. And then coming late in the game, you see another opportunity where Fernandez is keeping possession down in the corner. He does an excellent job of winning the first tackle, gets booted from behind. Somehow, he gets called for the foul. They play the ball quickly into midfield, get switch play. A nice cross into the box. Fagunias with an excellent header. And the Sounders come away from a draw with both occasions. That same linesman down in that far right-hand side corner makes two kind of interesting calls. And the Sounders come away with a draw where really they deserved a victory. Well, head coach Ziggy Schmidt understandably perplexed by those decisions. We mentioned about Seattle getting that lead, though, from behind. Two goals from Eddie Johnson in what was a very good display from him and a very good team display from Seattle. Well, I think that's what we have to draw the positives out of this match. I think coming back from being a goal behind, which was clearly should have been a judge to be offside. And the way that the, that the forwards, both Eddie and Mauro Rosales, worked to win possession back for the team, creating chances by winning possession back in the New England final third. A lot of positives going in to that Real Salt Lake match, but obviously very disappointed to concede on, on virtually the last kick of the match. So no rest for the Sounders who'll fly back to Seattle before facing that game on Wednesday night against Real Salt Lake at Rio Tinto Stadium. You can catch the match 6.30 on King TV and 97.3 Cairo FM. And Casey, we know that Real Salt Lake have started the season very well. How difficult are they to break down on their home turf? Well, they're very difficult. And they showed the other day they played against San Jose and really took it to San Jose and somehow, somehow came away with a loss. But in saying that, it's a tough, tough place to go play. You've got the altitude, you've got the heat, you've got a combination of factors and a very good team you're playing against. What a chance quickly for the Sounders to get that win they so craved and what we think they so deserved this evening at New England Revolution. Thanks for watching SoundersFC.com. For Casey Keller, I'm Ross Fletcher saying catch you again soon. Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at SoundersFC.com mobile.